Hey, it's Barry here with Jake. Yeah, in this video we're going to be very specific talking about the regulations for the 2022 upcoming red snapper, red snapper season. season. It's not yep. a long season, but there's some very specific regulations you have to follow to keep yourself out of trouble. We're going to cover those along with some rig ups and things uh, that's going to make your trip out there on the water more successful. So let's dive into it. All right, first of all, we're going to go over some regulations for you, the basic rules of the game for these two days. You have two days, July 8th, Friday, July 9th. This, that Saturday, that's it. You're allowed two fish. Hey Dave here from Hooked on Saltwater and we interrupt the video to bring you a concise regulation. So we're going to cover both the federal and the state. There is a bit of uh, maybe a little confusion up there so we want to clarify that within the video. So I'm going to turn it over to Jake. There's lots of confusion out there. Me and Dave were just looking <laughs> yeah. at a magazine article. We're not going to say which one but it is very confusing. I could see where some people and even myself get confused with the 16 inch rule, but we are going to go by the FWC guidelines right off their website. And then state waters, this is state within three miles. You can keep two fish and they got to be 20 inches minimum. All right, two According fish. to FWC. FWC. We're going to post not right a magazine. <laughs> yes, right. we'll post the link and everything right there. Yep. Not a magazine, but uh, straight from the horse itself. And then yeah. out in federal waters, that is beyond three miles, you are allowed to keep one, and there is no limit on right. what size it is. You make sure you are in state or federal because you can get in some real trouble quick not knowing where you're at and keeping the wrong fish in your bag. So. so how can they avoid staying out of trouble, especially when you're close to that three mile mark? Do you avoid staying out of trouble? Okay, best thing you can do if you have somebody on the boat with you, video you taking, uh, harvesting that fish, reeling it in, and also take a clip of your GPS saying that you are inside that three nautical mile mark. All right, that is the best way to keep you out of trouble and to, for you to be able to go about and keep yep. fishing instead of just go straight in. Make sure you are getting videotaped with you catching that fish along with where your positioning is on your GPS. Yep. And FWC is, they, they're, gr it's, they're great law enforcement, love them. And when it comes to the red fish regulation, they are, by, they're by the book by pretty much. I well, all of them I know are. And they, you know, if you're cool with them, they'll be cool with you. Just let them do their job yep. and go yep. about yep. their way. That's it. And then you can keep on fishing. That's right. The less hassle you give them, you know, they're not bad guys. They're not out there no, to, no. you know, ruin your day. They're just doing their job. Big shout out to FWC. It's a tough job. Yes, definitely mention that the snapper season is open year round within those three mile right. mark. Point. Three miles, so you can keep red snapper. You can keep two of them all year yeah. round. You don't have to wait for this season, this That's two right. day season. If you got a spot within those that mark, yeah. definitely go hit it any time of the year. Yeah. And again, according to FWC, twenty inch minimum. Minimum for the state state waters within that three miles. Yes, that's a clarification. Yes. And if you have any questions or any doubts, just go ahead and check it out yourself or yeah. comment call, below. Yeah, comment. Call the shop. Yeah. Uh, we'll uh, feel free to answer any answer anything you'd like to ask us. All yeah. righty. So with that said, we're going to continue with the video and go through the rest of the regulations. There are several other regulations. We're going to cover that now. Never know. Let me back this up real quick. Starts on the eighth, July eighth. 12 a.m. Okay. 12 a.m. That midnight at midnight, July 8th, you can run and gun and get out there. All right. That's yes. important because some people don't know and they're not quite sure. So. Hey, if you're rigged up to go out at night, by all means, yep. okay. get out there, get get there before everybody gets out, and avoid the headache of the and crowd. And at midnight, two days later, then okay, it closes. One minute over midnight, don't do that. Okay, yep. good. All right. So, what do we need to do when we're out there? There's some certain things you got to have on your boat. Certain things yes. You're gonna have to do. So. All right. Right here, we're gonna start off with your hooks. You have got to have a non offset circle hook got them right here at the shop we have them in various brands 
Um, but, you know, my favorite size hook to use for a red snapper is between a five and a six aught okay. um, and inline circle. You have to have them. All right, one other thing we're gonna go over is the descending device. This year, you have to have a descending device rigged and ready to go to drop those fish back down. I have mine secured here with a rubber band. Rubber bands are key on the boat, just to avoid some damage to the rod and everything. But right here, let me figure out how I got this guy on here. Uh, all right, this is your, you can make these at home as well, but as long as you have. I'll hold the rod. You gonna hold the rod? Okay. Right here is this basic, a, a basic setup of what you need. You got your swivel up here attached to your main line. Here is a sharpened, basically barbless hook that goes through the lip of the fish and here I have 12 ounces of lead tied uh, tied up uh, to get that fish down here in order to because uh, sometimes that bladder fills up a lot and you need a little bit more lead there's no specific amount of weight that they require you as what I have seen yet but I would say definitely between 12 and 16 ounces and you simply put that through the fish's lip let your let the release go on your reel and let it go down once it's down to the desired depth mm -hmm. shake it off just simply reel it up because this is a barbless hook it should come right out also one last thing that you need to well you do need a de-hooking device on your boat they ask for you to have a de-hooking device and also a vent tool with this right here it's just a hollow needle you stick in the rib cage, well, right behind that pectoral fin, you puncture it and you will hear that release of gas or air coming out of it and that allows the fish to swim back down. Um, but these are the regulations of this year. You have to have the device rig rigged and ready to go as well as one of these on the boat. Um, yeah, they can't be stored down in the... They, you, it's got to be ready to go. Yes, time. last year they had it. Uh, where you could just you just need it on the boat mm -hmm. this year it is rigged and ready to go to send those fish back down to prevent any lossage of or an, an, any unnecessary lossage yeah right okay so we covered what we need to do as far as the fish making sure we protect them if you're sending them back down mm -hmm. the setup for that we talked about the hook size let's talk baits baits Okay, hands down, one of my favorite baits to use for red snapper and what I was crushing the red snapper on the other week was uh, thread fin herrings. Okay. Thread fins, they, the snapper like a nice oily bait. Thread fins, pogies, you know, people use sardines. Sometimes they're a little bit hard to get around snapper season just because mm -hmm. the demand of uh, the right. sardines during that short period, they just dry up real quick. Mm -hmm. But a good alternative bait would be those thread fins and then also uh, greenies. If you get grab some pilchards, greenies, same thing, different terminology. Um, those are great baits as well. And the rig that you would really use on it uh, is a simple chicken rig. So you got or a high-low rig. The northerners call it a high-low rig. Mm -hmm. We call it a chicken rig. And yeah, I, I also say, you know, a general rule of thumb with weight for uh, the depth you're fishing, they usually say an ounce per every 10 feet. So if you're fishing 80 feet of water, use eight ounces of lead. You're fishing 100 feet of water, use 10 ounces of lead. So um, usually an ounce per 10 feet. Okay, great. All right, I think that's probably gonna wrap it up. We yeah. The regulations covered. Folks, make sure you pay attention to those regulations. Don't yeah. make a great day on the water a bad day if you've got the authorities pulling up on you yes, and they are out there in force checking to make sure everybody's in compliance yes that's probably the, the probably the most busiest two days for they the, the check everyone yeah, yeah. um good. yeah just be safe you know yep. get get the right gear follow the guidelines you know yep. and then that way you can live to fish another day yep. have a great <laughs> time while you're out there okay folks thanks for watching this video comment below um, if you're seeing this after the season let us know how you did or yeah. wait till after go ahead and let us know what your catch was send us some pictures yeah, send us some pic you can send pictures in to dave at hookedonsaltwater.net or barry at hookedonsaltwater.net as well we'll post those up we'll put them in a special video of the snapper season catches so get those in 
stop by, see Jake, post him on the Wall of Fame, yeah. and uh, go from there. All right, thanks a lot, guys. Have a good one. See you next video.